is John C. Hello. Hi. Hello. Hi. Nice to meet you. I'm Ali. Very nice. Very nice to meet you. And thank you so much for opening up this special spot for me today. I wanna give you this little flower here as a retribution for your <laughs> kindness. <laughs> thank you, thank you so much. That's so sweet. Thank you. So how so my... are you? How's everything? You know Priscilla, right? Yeah, she's my virtual friend. Nice. <laughs> we we were friends on the social media, and I saw your these little short videos of you guys on her Instagram and I really loved your energy and I and I uh, sent this message to her asking your profile thank you you are so freaking loud oh my god I'm sorry teacher because okay. I am there, there is a beautiful view yeah, it's a little, little hot here today. <laughs> Not a little hot, extremely hot, and I have to drink a lot of water and keep myself hydrated. Yeah, I, I um, actually forgot to refill my water, so. Oh my gosh! Cheers! No, you are not. <laughs> I don't have any water. <laughs> so, I lost my, I lost my train of thought. Oh, okay. And I sent her a message asking her your profile so that I can try to, you know, to have this conversation with you. Nice. That's great. That's awesome. I am thrilled that you did that. I actually would love to see the videos that she has of us talking because sometimes I forget what I say. <laughs> <laughs> so, so I don't even know what I said on those videos, you know? Oh my gosh, really? <laughs> yeah, I talk a lot, so... <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure you kind of have a lot of students here and you have to... You know, it, it's kind of hard to, to keep all, all of those conversations in mind. <laughs> yeah, definitely. And um, I also teach um, kids, Cambly Kids. Mm -hmm. And um, I have adults and kids, but mostly kids. So I have a lot of people and the energy is so different for the kids. It's like, hey, hi, you know, and for the adults, it's a little bit more calm. Um, so, yes, I do see a lot of people all the time. Okay. All right. But why are you um, giving your preference to kids? Um. So... I think adults, it's a little bit more difficult to maintain happy. Um, you have to try your best to be the person that they are going to like. And mm -hmm. so for kids, it's more like, high five, yay, so good, that was great. And kids, they always like people. Um, and I have a really fun background for the kids with like colors and I have sounds for them like yay and applause and stuff like that. So it's a little bit more easy for me. But most of the people, they only want adults. Um, where, where, want where is your background? Because I am like a kid. <laughs> <laughs> I can actually show you. It's right here. Let me show you real quick. All right. <laughs> yeah, it's this, and I just put it like that here. Oh my goodness! <laughs> no, actually, not that one though. This one. And like A that. B C D E F G H I J L K. So it's like C D E. And then I wear this shirt that says, you know, like Teacher Alley, um, for the classes. Oh my god. So you know what? I'm not sure if I think with you. When I was learning English, I used to learn I used to learn English through you know, child music. Like That's great. Uh, That's the best way. What was my, my, my favorite? 
A, B, C, D. A, B, C, D. In the morning, you brush your teeth. <laughs> I have heard that. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, my gosh. I think music Wait. music is the best way to to learn. Um, and I, 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 I used to learn... Cause my, cause my, my first language. I don't know if Priscilla told you, but my first language is actually not English. It's you Spanish. You kidding me? Oh, yeah. are you? Oh, my you... first, my Hola. first language is also Spanish. You hablo español, chica, because you live in a. <laughs> I live, I, I live in Cuba, in Cuba, in Cuba. No, not Cuba. Cuba Naka. Cuba Naka. What? Is, where is that? <laughs> Never heard of Cuba Naka before. Oh my gosh! Cuba you have to, Cuba you have Naka. to learn your your geography really well. You know because it says yes, more. Probably. It says more island located in the South American continent. Beautiful place. We speak Spanish here. Amazing. And so, so your first language is not Spanish. No, my first language is um, Portuguese. No, it's a Cuban case. <laughs> <laughs> I'm making you. I'm making fun of you. <laughs> and stop, because <laughs> <laughs> I'm from Brazil. Actually, I speak okay. Portuguese. And okay. I made that. I made that this country. <laughs> Hold on, you wait, don't do that to me. What? <laughs> you that was me. mean. <laughs> oh my. Your face was like, oh my gosh, what country is that? <laughs> I know. I was like, what? And I put it on the internet, and it says Cuba, and I was like, not Cuba. <laughs> no. I don't know. <laughs> Actually, Kubanakan is a fictional name of a soap opera uh, in Brazil that was filmed in 2003. So, <laughs> yeah. Oh my God. No wonder I couldn't find it. You see? <laughs> so, your But first language is Portuguese. Um, I speak Portuguese and I speak Portuguese, Port obviously. <laughs> And my second language is Spanish. So, sim, um pouquinho parecido, pero no mucho. <laughs> yeah, but that was that was great. You know what? Um, <clears throat> for me, it is totally is not totally is, but kind of is to understand the the Spanish speakers. Uh, because as you said, the the language is kind. Kind of similar, they are similar, but for you guys, uh, Spanish speakers, it's difficult to understand Portuguese because of the nasal sounds and yeah, the like nasal a, sound is difficult. So if if I was about to say like my name is um in Portuguese is like meu nombre, meu nome é, meu nome. No, no, bre. no, 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 mix up the language. You know me. You know me. You know me. Okay, so it's kind of like. <laughs> <laughs> That's a nice way to remember that word. Um, so it, it really is similar, but you are correct. For us, Spanish speakers, it's a little bit hard to understand Portuguese. Yeah. Um, yeah. There's a lot of different words. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna give you another uh, word that is confusing for Spanish speakers is the letter R, because you guys, uh, you 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 throw your eyes yeah. like rato and stuff, but we our R's we we, we say that with uh, the back of our throat, so we don't say R, we say ha ah, ah. uh, ha. <laughs> Yeah, so that's why you, you don't understand when we say para. Uh, we, no, no, para is not a good example. <laughs> example. <laughs> uh, carro, car. In, in, in Portuguese, yeah. carro, car. Yeah. But in Spanish, you would say carro. Yeah. Carro. But we understand carro because if we 
want to exaggerate our pronunciation, we would like put some emphasis on the letter R and we would say carro. On daily basis, we say carro, but you guys probably wouldn't be aware to understand that. So yeah, yeah. that's one of the difference that I can tell you right now. That's true, that's true. You know, in, um, in my country, um, there's a certain part of the island that mm -hmm. does that does um say the r like like that like in portuguese like cajo oh, really like, yeah. Cajo. So, yeah we say like in that part of the island they say cajo or like Where are you rice from? puerto rico puerto rico muy puerto rico. bonito <laughs> yes i love puerto rico <laughs> um so i yeah yeah it sounds a lot like my country but there's another mm -hmm. Latinos, like for example, in Mexico or in Colombia or Venezuela, they would not understand that. Ugh, ugh, so yeah, I yeah. understand. Do you understand Porto, Porto Rico? <laughs> Porto Rico, Portuguese. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you said English is not your first language; is Spanish. And uh, I'm assuming you learned English when you were a child or you live in America. I don't know. Tell me yeah. your story. We don't have time, I, but <laughs> I want um, to hear it. So I started learning when I was about 11 or 12 years old. Mm -hmm. And I started learning watching TV. So oh, I would great. put the subtitles in Spanish and then I would listen in English. Mm -hmm. And I would practice if uh, if they would say the car is running, I would act. I would say the car, car, and just try to make the same pronunciation. So I, by the time I was uh, 14, 15, I had a really amazing knowledge. And I moved to the U.S. when I was 17. All right. 17. So, ever since then. So, it was like a year ago because you look like 18 right now. <laughs> I am uh, 25. You are 25. Yes. Are you sure about that? You are not mocking me. Because no, I, 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 I play am, a prank on you and you are, you are like, pay me back. <laughs> no, 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 no. I am 25. I actually have a baby of two years old. Um, what? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and you have I, to me. Yes, and I am. I am married. Um, I've been married for four years. Oh my gosh! Yes. <laughs> I thought you were eighteen and you were still in college. <laughs> no. How old are you? How old am I? Now I have told the truth, right? Yes. <laughs> Let me do the math. Let me count. <laughs> Let me go here. These these little rocks. <laughs> I I am thirty six. Thirty six. Wow. Yeah, I'll be thirty seven in August. Okay. Any kids? Any wife? Any kids? I mean, two two cats. Double <laughs> <laughs> makers. Oh my gosh. <laughs> they are crazy. Um. And I have a, I have my partner. We are not married, but we live together, cohabiting for eleven years. Oh my god, that's a lot of time! <laughs> wow. When are you going to propose? <clears throat> the back door is still open. <laughs> Don't say that. <laughs> you need to propose. She, she doesn't know English, so I can't. I'm safe for saying. That. Oh, that's great. That's great. Thank well, you. we only have. 13 seconds. Yeah, I'll, I'll schedule another conversation with you. Do I have to message you? So yes. that I can? Okay. Yeah. I'll do that. Thank All you. Right, Thank nice you so much. You. Take care.